In this problem, uh, we are given a description of a unit called the micrometer, or often called the micron, which is represented as one uh, mu m, m for meter, and then mu is the prefix, meaning micro. And uh, this is a three-part problem where we have to make various conversions. Specifically, part A asks us to find out how many microns make up one kilometer. Now, you want to know your conversions for this one. So first off, as most people probably already know, there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. But again, most people know that already. The micro prefix is a little trickier. So if you aren't familiar with it already, then it's a good thing to memorize. But basically, it's the opposite of the mega or million prefix. So a micrometer or a micron is the same as one millionth of a meter. Or uh, you could say it, write that as there are one million microns in one meter. Now, let's use this knowledge uh, to get the answer via the basic conversion method. So if we're starting off with one kilometer, we want to convert this into uh, meters so we can use that to convert into micrometers or microns using this conversion factor we have here. So I'll set up a basic chain link conversion where I have uh, a thousand meters and one kilometer. So I want to convert kilometers to one, uh, I, want to, I want to convert kilometers to meters. So I can do that by putting one kilometer in the denominator and I'm putting it in the denominator specifically so that once I make the conversion, we can see that the units will cancel out. So because of dimensional analysis, we end up with a unit in terms of meters, and that's our conversion. But we also want to convert from meters to microns. So I'll add another one, I'll add another conversion, where we want to convert from meters into microns. So we'll add one meter in the denominator, so it cancels out. And the conversion factor from meter to microns is this number right here, where there are a million microns in a meter. So we'll add this up top. And now we have conversion from uh, kilometers into microns. And the answer we get for this, plugging this into your calculator or uh, writing it out yourself, is that we get an answer of 1 times 10 to the power of nine microns. And uh, that's a one with nine zeros after it, or one billion. And uh, I've made it a little pretty by writing it out in scientific notation. And that is how many, uh, that's how many microns are going to be in one kilometer. Now part B asks us to find what fraction of a centimeter is equal to one micron. So this time we're converting microns into centimeters. So uh, as I'm sure almost everyone knows, we have 100 centimeters in one meter, but uh, it's important to make a note of that in order to properly make our conversion. So let's start with one micron, since you want to find, bas or basically you want to find the number of centimeters in a micron. So I'll start with 1.0 micrometers, and let's convert to meters. So, of course, there are a million microns in a meter, so I'm going to write that in the denominator. 10 to the power of 6 microns in 1 meter. And then we're converting from that into centimeters. So applying the exact same method of the chain link conversion, we'll put 1 meter in the denominator and 100 centimeters in the numerator. And now this is our conversion for microns into centimeters. So plugging this into our calculator, we find that it's equal to 0 0.0001 centimeters. Or once again, if we wanted to write it in scientific notation or as a fraction, we find that this is equal to uh, 1 over 10 to the power of 4 of centimeters. And that is our fraction that the problem asks us for in part B. Part B asks us how many microns are in one yard. 
So, of course, we're going to use the same general method as the above two processes for parts A and B. But this one's a little bit trickier, however, because the yard is an imperial unit rather than a metric unit, and doesn't mathematically line up nicely with the other units of measurement typically used. Uh, so you might, you might just want to look up the conversion rate for problems like this, since I personally don't think that metric to imperial conversion rates are really worth memorizing. But for the sake of this problem, one yard is equal to about 0 0.9144 meters. So once again, we're going to apply a chain link conversion here, starting out with uh, 1.0 yards. And first off, let's convert this into meters using our little chain link conversion. So that's one yard in the denominator and 0 0.9144 meters in the numerator. And that'll convert us from yards to meters. And then we're converting that into microns. So let's add the conversion from microns to meters as we did in part B. So I'll put 10 to the power of 6 microns in the denominator and 1 meter in the numerator. And then plugging this into our calculator and doing this calculation, we find that 1 yard is equal to uh, 914400 microns or 914,400 microns. Or if, you'd or if you prefer to write this more simply in scientific notation, uh, you could also write this rounded to two significant figures as 9.1 times 10 to the fifth power of microns, if you don't mind shaving off a few non-zero digits. And that is our conversion for the number of microns in one yard.